Animal Crossing New Horizons has plenty of different NPCs in the game, and each of these NPCs serve their unique purposes. Some of these NPCs that are in New Horizons are actually brand new to the game, and others we've actually seen from past games. And there's also a bunch of NPCs who sadly haven't made it into the game just yet, but we can probably expect these in future updates. If there's an NPC that you want to quickly learn something about, I'll put a bunch of timestamps down below to each of the NPCs that I talk about in today's video so that way you can quickly jump to a part of the video so that way you can learn about the NPC that you want to learn about. And also, if there's an NPC that you want me to do a full in-depth guide video on, just let me know in the comments down below and I might just do a video on them. In today's video, I'll be talking about everything you need to know about these NPCs that visit your island. So to start off, all the NPCs that will visit your island and that are currently in the game are Sahara, Leaf, Kix, KK Slider, Daisy May, Red, Label, Gulliver, CJ, Flick, Celeste and Wisp, which makes a total of 12 different NPCs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm sure we can expect a lot of new NPCs in future updates, but at the time of filming this video, there is currently 12 NPCs that visit your island each week. There's 5 different NPCs you're guaranteed at least once per week, and to start off we have Sahara. Sahara is the camel that will visit your island at least once per week, and she'll sell you rugs, floorings, and wallpapers. Like most of the other NPCs in this game, Sahara can be found roaming around your island. She can literally be anywhere except for inside buildings, so you might have to go running around a little bit before you find her. Another character you're guaranteed at least once per week is Leaf. Leaf is a slot that will visit your island to sell you bushes and flowers. He's the only way in the game to obtain these bushes and will always have two types of bushes and one of them being in season. You can find Leaf to the right of your town hall randomly throughout the week and also Leaf will buy weeds off of you for 20 bells each which is two times what Timmy and Tommy would buy them for at the Nook's Cranny. Kix is the other NPC that you're guaranteed at least once per week and similar to Leaf he will be found on the right side of your town hall. He is the super stylish skunk that will sell you bags, hats, and shoes. And like I said, you're guaranteed kicks at least once per week and you can find them to the right side of your town hall. Once you've had the KK Slider concert after you've reached a 3 star island rating mark, KK Slider will come to your island every Saturday until midnight. He will be there the whole day performing in front of your town hall and will only take requests from 6pm to 12am in which you can ask him to sing any of your favorite KK Slider songs. He will be there the whole day but like I said at 6pm exactly you can start asking him to sing your favorite songs. And finally the last NPC that you're guaranteed to get at least once per week is Daisy May. Daisy May will show up to your island every Sunday after you've unlocked your Nook's Cranny. She'll be available all morning on Sunday until noon which is about 12pm. She is the one that sells you turnips and she is the root of the Animal Crossing New Horizons stock market. If you want to learn more about Daisy May as well as the stock market, check out the link to my turnip guide in the description below. The other 7 NPCs that I didn't name yet will show up randomly to your island just like the other NPCs that I've named, but the difference is that it might take a few days to weeks to get them on your island. The 5 NPCs which are CJ, Flick, Gulliver, Red, and Label will be available any day throughout the week, but you can only get 2 of these characters per week. So for example, if you get CJ and Flick one week, you will have to wait until the next week to see either Red, Label, or Gulliver. And the characters you didn't get one week have priority for the next week. So if you haven't gotten Red two weeks in a row, you have a high chance of getting him that third week. I'll quickly run down each of these NPCs and what they do and how to get them. Gulliver is a seagull that will randomly show up washed up on the shore of your beach. You'll have to talk to him a bunch of times and eventually on the fifth or sixth time he will get up and ask you to find his communicator parts. And to get these communicator parts, you'll see little squirts similar to manila clams on the side of your beach. And once you've dug up four or five communicator parts, you have to go back to Gulliver. And once you've gone back to Gulliver and gave him his communicator parts, you're done with him. And the next day, he'll actually send you a thank you gift in the mail. Most of the time, these items that Gulliver will actually send you are considered rare. And most of the time, these items are really sought after by many of the members in the community. And next up, we have CJ. He might look familiar to you because he's actually the son of Chip, which is the beaver in the previous games that would hold the fishing tourneys. Similar to his father Chip, CJ also holds the fishing tourney every now and then and also will visit your island randomly throughout the week. When CJ is visiting your island and it's not for a fishing tourney, he can be found roaming around literally anywhere on your island. He'll buy fish off of you for a much higher price than Timmy and Tommy would, and if you bring three of the same fish to CJ, he'll make a model of that fish for you and send it to you in the mail the next day. Sadly, you can only make one model per day, so you'll have to wait until the next time CJ comes to get another model. And next up we have Flick. Flick is a chameleon who will visit your island randomly throughout the week. He'll be roaming around similar to CJ and Sahara. Flick will buy bugs off of you for a much higher price than what Timmy and Tommy would buy them from you for. Flick will also make a model of any bug of your choosing if you present him three of the same bug, just like CJ with his fish. And once you've given CJ's three of the same kind of bug and you ask him for the model, he'll actually send it to you in the next day in the mail similar to CJ, and also similar to CJ you can only get one model per day of the bug. And next up we have Red. Red is the fox that will be found at the private beach on the back of your island. When Red is on your island, you'll see a boat docked at the back private beach. You can also tell if he's there by looking at the little mini map in the bottom right corner of your screen and there'll also be a little icon at the back private beach on your island. Once you walk into his boat, you'll actually be greeted with four different paintings or statues as well as two different objects that you can buy. Red is the only person that sells these paintings and statues to you and these are the paintings and statues that you need to complete your art part of your museum. But once you get into Red's boat and you're about to buy that painting, make sure you're careful because sometimes these paintings can be fake. 
there are in-depth guides on YouTube that will help you determine if a painting is fake or real, and I'll link some video slash guides down below in the description below. Next up, we have Label. Label is a third sister from the Abel family. She'll appear in front of your town hall randomly throughout the week similar to kicks and leave. She will ask you to model for her in which you have to meet her basic needs of what she is asking for. If she says you need a summer look, you'll have to change into a summer outfit and present it to her. If your outfit meets her basic requirements, she'll then give you a tailor's ticket which allows you to buy anything from the Able Sisters that costs less than 5,000 bells. Finally, we have Wisp and Celeste. These actually don't follow a set visit pattern on your island, they'll just randomly show up throughout the week. So first we have Celeste. Celeste is Blather's sister who will be found roaming around your island similar to Sahara, Flick, and CJ. She typically shows up during meteor showers slash shooting stars but is not guaranteed to be there when those happen and the same goes the other way. So if you have Celeste, you're not guaranteed to have a meteor shower or slash shooting stars. When she is on your island and you go to talk to her, she will offer you a DIY for an astronomical project. These DIYs are always super unique and some of the best items in the game in my opinion. And of course, these DIYs that she gives you do take materials, and for the most part, they require star fragments. In past games, Celeste actually has had a stargazing observatory, but sadly, it hasn't made it into Animal Crossing New Horizons just yet. It might come in a future update for all we know. And the final NPC in today's video is Wisp. Wisp is the ghost that will randomly show up to your island throughout the week. Wisp will show up to your island randomly throughout the week, but to be specific, he will only show up to your island randomly past 8pm. Wisp can be found roaming your island similar to Celeste, Sahara, Flick, and CJ, and once you've talked to him, he will get scared and lose pieces of his spirit. These pieces of his spirit will be found roaming around his island, kind of floating around, and you'll have to collect all four or five of these pieces, and you can collect them by simply hitting them with your nets similar to like butterflies or dragonflies. Once you've gotten all four or five pieces, you must return back to Wisp and give them to him. From there, he'll offer you an expensive item or a new item. Most of the time, I'll go with the new item because for the most part, you'll get something you already own if you go for the expensive item. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a complete guide of all the NPCs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. What they do, how to get them, and where they are. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you learned something new from today's video, please drop a like on the video to support the channel. It really means a lot. And also, consider subscribing if you are new here and for some really awesome Animal Crossing content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.